Hello from Ken Harley in Hong Kong, Pastor Ken. I hope you're doing well. We're on Romans chapter 2, verses 1, with ele 1 to 11. Uh, we'll start part 1, verses 1 to 4. Romans chapter 2, New International Version. You therefore have no excuse, you who pass judgment on someone else, for at whatever point you judge the other, you are condemning yourself, because you who pass judgment do the same things. Now we know that God's judgment against those who do such things is based on truth. I'm trying to get this right. Let's see if I get it right. The camera angle, that is. So when you, a mere man, pass judgment on them, and yet do the same things, do you think you will escape God's judgment? Or do you show condemn, contempt for the riches of His kindness, tolerance and patience, not realizing that God's kindness leads you toward re repentance? Okay, now Romans 2, whenever you see in the Bible that it has a therefore, Therefore is a connecting word to the previous passage. So in chapter 1, he, Paul was listening or listing um, several of the sins that people were doing because people gave up their creator. They gave up the Father of all heaven who created the universe, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit. They gave them up. Now, you might say, well, we didn't know Jesus before Jesus came. And that's true. In the scripture, in the Bible, there are references to the Trinity in the Old Testament. But people didn't know Jesus, but they knew the Spirit in Romans 1 uh, emphasizes that the Spirit of God, even though we didn't have Jesus to give us a human face of God, those who were in tune naturally in their hearts would follow God. And there were many, many people who came to Jerusalem to become God-fearers, seekers from all over the world. And there were many people who came to the Jewish synagogues who were God-fearers that were throughout the world. So this gets across this idea that not only can we understand through Jesus Christ, through the Bible, what is right, what is Christianity, what is the, Christianity is not a religion, the only true religion, the only religion of our Creator, our Father, who created the heavens and the earth, the whole universe was created by God, and we, He has revealed Himself through Jesus Christ, and Jesus keeps revealing Himself through the Holy Spirit comforting us and showing us the way. But there is a natural state of us connecting with the image of God that is within each of us that people could come, at least before Jesus came, they could come to know the Creator and to know His moral law. Now I hate to use the word moral law, um, but just to do the right things. To live righteous means to be bright in the shining light of God. Okay, so in verses 1 through 4, this continues on Paul saying, Hey Romans, you are Christians and I'm writing to you, but don't start judging all of these people. Now there are other scriptures that refer to Christians being the judges and teaching the right way. Yeah, yeah. But don't judge. So many people will use that scripture to say lesbians and homosexuals are in error and they need to burn and all of that. Well, Jesus himself said, go and sin no more. And Jesus took, but he also took the sins. How many of the people that judge homosexuality go in and love somebody who's a homosexual? who prays with them and cries with them and helps them to change and helps them to know how much the love of another woman or another man could be from the opposite sex, who watches them grow and 
go through tough times and watches the light of God descend on them and the desires that they once had change. So, in verse 1 through 4, Paul says, It is the kindness that leads to repentance. It's tolerance and patience from God that leads us to Him. So that means any religion, no matter what I feel, I need to pray for them and love them and hug them and give them kind gifts and be encouraging to them and tell them of my God, Jesus Christ, the Father, the Holy Spirit, who bestows love and kindness and hope and the ability to be accepted and forgiven to everyone on the world, in the world. Because no matter what religion you come from, no matter what country or continent you come from, we all feel a need to be forgiven and loved and to love and forgive. And that's why we get so sick. That's why we get so moral and so depressed and so hopeless because we don't know that there, there is any forgiveness or love or kindness. Okay, so this is the end of part one, Romans chapter two. Be encouraged, my friends. Feel the love of God. It's the kindness that will lead to repentance. And you and I, we both need a lot of kindness. And then through God giving us kindness, we will be kind and care for others.